Find TB to cattle in the fully mature stage of bovine TB. Badgers will only go to fully blown bovine TB in old age. It's only about 5% of that 5% that will actually ever get to a stage where they can pass it on to cattle. You work that out, 5% of 5%. How much did it cost to kill a badger? Well, if you multiply it by 5% by 5%, it costs millions of pounds to catch that three or four out of the 1,864 that could actually pass it on to, uh, to cattle. They'll only pass it over in what they call the super excreta stage, basically in, in urine. Up to then, it's aerosol action through vapor, etc. only. They only develop, but it's only passed on through urine in the final stages of fully blown Government figures actually prove that. They've done their own tests, and it proves that. So that's how much of a scapegoat it is. That's how much it was a carrot dangled in front of the farmers. Bovine TB in cattle was the only way they could find to actually kill off badgers. The actual law on protected species, you could only get permission to slaughter badgers if they're carrying disease. So they knew that was the only way. There's many, many reasons for the slaughter of badgers. Badgers. One is HS2. I don't know if it, uh, we didn't find out until uh, a fortnight ago. There's almost 30 sets, badger sets, on the route of the HS2 in Staffordshire alone. In Staffordshire alone. You imagine the whole route of the HS2. You imagine how many sets they would have to destroy to put that railway in. Fracking. There's badger sets on the land where fracking is going to be taking place. They're in the way. They're an obstruction. They want those gone as well. One of the major problems that I'm actually dealing with at the moment, of several examples, is green belt land that's going over to housing. Nearly every piece of green belt land that the government is insisting on being uh, used for housing has got badger sets on it. The rules were very, very tough and they seem to have got somewhat softened by Natural England now. The instances that I've had this last few weeks, basically Natural England has said, right, there's a couple of sets in the middle of the proposed development We'll put a big fence around them with a one-way gate on. The badgers will come out and they won't get back in. After a few months, you can flatten the set. And that will be happening all over the country. So it was a carrot dangled in front of the farmers' noses. They've been told lies by the government. Lie after lie. We want to eradicate bovine TB. We're not here... <laughs> Just because badgers are cuddly animals, we want to see an end to bovine tea. We don't want to see cattle slaughtered. We don't want to see any slaughtering whatsoever. But spending that money, millions of pounds, on, on killing just half a dozen badgers that are actually liable to, to pass over TB is absolutely absurd. Absolutely absurd. That money could do with uh, being used for developing vaccines so we can actually inject, uh, vaccinate cattle. There's a lot of ways around that that EU laws won't uh, accept at the moment. There is absolutely no reason to slaughter badgers. Right, let's move on. I've lost my piece of paper now.